You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Welcome back, everybody. Last time we talked about how did Jesus pay the debt for our sin? And he paid the debt for our sin by dying in our stead on the cross. So no longer do we drink the cup of the Father's wrath. Christ has drank it, drunk it, drank it, one of those. My wife's an English major. She'll correct me later. He's done it for us. He's paid the price by his wounds. We are healed. Now, what does that mean, to be healed? In the words of holy absolution, we have healing. We are regenerated. We are born anew, not like we are naturally, right? Like Psalm 51, verse 5, and sin did my mother conceive me. We're not reborn and regenerated in sin. We're reborn and regenerated in the words of grace and mercy, in the words of holy absolution. The reality that our debt is canceled. That is how we are born from above in Christ. So when we are forgiven, something happens to us. It, it's like Scrooge on Christmas morning. We, we jump for joy knowing that the, the jaws of hell is not our final destination, but instead the eternal dwellings of Christ is. So what does this do to us? What does this absolution do? Well, it frees us. It frees us from being a jerk to our neighbor. It frees us from being disobedient to our mom and dad or our boss. It frees us from cutting people off in traffic or getting mad when someone cuts us off in traffic. It frees us from complaining and bellyaching and grumbling. It frees us from being lustful and gluttonous and envious. It frees you to live joyfully for what is to come. It frees you to walk this pilgrimage path unto eternity. It frees you to forgive your neighbor, knowing that when you forgive them, it's not earning points with God. You forgiving them is but a fruit of the reality that you're forgiven. And what greater thing can we have than that? Being regenerated in grace. That God loves us so much, he doesn't want us to live a life of bitterness and resentment and doubt and despair. He wants us to have a life that is a joyful step toward the one that is to come. And every time we hear that we're forgiven, we're reminded, God doesn't hate you. He loves you. And he can't wait for you to be with him forever. In fact, he gives you little glimpses of himself now, the fullness of himself in your absolution. So be at peace, my friends, as we joyfully walk together, knowing that we're going to a great place because of the life, sufferings, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. God bless, and we'll see you next time.